And that first step that I'm kind of talking about is grouping the terms. Guys, we can only, com we can only complete the square if we have x's with x's. And we can only complete the square with our y's and our y's, correct? So follow me, because this will, again, it, this completing the square stuff, this is going to be assessed. So group the x's. x squared plus 8x plus y squared minus 6y. And then let's get the 15 to the other side. Does everybody see what I did? I just rearranged things. Now, I'm going to use color coding, because I'm hoping color coding is going to help you better visualize what I am doing, because I'm completing the square twice. So I need to complete the square for the x's, and I need to complete the square for the y's. In each case, I take my b, divide it by 2, and square it. My b, divided by 2, and square it. So my b in this case is 8 divided by 2 squared, which we know is 16. Here, I have negative 6 divided by 2 squared, which is 9. Does everybody see what I did? I'm taking my middle term of each of those quadratics expressions, and I'm dividing them by 2 and squaring them. Now, I'm going to add them inside of each of my parentheses. And since I'm adding them on the right side, I have to make sure I add them on the left side. So my new equation looks like this. I'll move. Is everybody following my color coding? Color coordinating. Is everybody okay with that, Carly? Okay. So now we have created binomial squared. So again, guys, this just comes into that knowing how to factor into binomial squared. And again, I'm not going to factor them down. I'm just going to do this. Um, I'm just going to factor them for you. So this is x plus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 31 equals 40. Therefore, my center is negative 4, 3. My radius is the square root of 40. Oh, and I could probably simplify my square root of 40, especially if I'm asking for that to be simplified. So that would be 2 squared of 10. Is 